litres of high performance power and luxury. And in presenting and delivering this performance driver's dream, you must convey the prestige and exclusivity of the car to its new owner. At stake is not only your reputation, but also the image Austin Rover has so carefully developed over the last few years. The owner must feel we value his custom and has our attention. So important is this aspect of your Montego turbo sale that we prepared a customer care and courtesy pack to back up your handover of this superb car. A first for Austin Rover is the special presentation pack, comprising a top quality Swiss watch or a lady's briefcase in burgundy leather, a gift for the owner's partner, two MG turbo fobs and a cleaning cloth. Though the presentation pack will be mailed to new owners, your handover of the car must be the culmination of exceptional service in handling the sale and preparation of the car before handover. To begin with, your customers will be car enthusiasts, knowledgeable and eager to have their questions answered in full. In addition, you must be 101% up to date on your product knowledge and know how Montego Turbo compares with its competitors. And you must read and fully understand the product training book already issued to you. One person who appreciates high performance from the cars he drives is racing driver Steve Soper, former champion of the Silverstone Tourist Trophy and winner of over a hundred races. And we asked Ian Ogilvy to call on Steve, who's been putting the Montego Turbo through its paces at the Thruxton Racing Circuit in Hampshire. Morning, Steve. Morning, Ian. <laughs> You know, I've often wondered what it must be like being a racing driver, but having just watched your performance out on the track, I don't think I'd have the nerve to try it. Yes, it's not always as easy as it looks. <laughs> I understand that you were involved in the um, testing of the prototypes of these cars. Yes, that's right. We did a lot of the suspension development uh, at the Austin Rover test circuit at Gaydon. Yeah, I've also been told that this is the fastest ever production car in the history of MG with a top speed of what 126 miles an hour yes that's right and uh, I think it's the acceleration figures are 0 to 16 something like 7.3 oh. and yet it's such an elegant stylish car isn't it really quite deceptive I'd love to uh, I'd love to see how it goes well, jump in we'll go for a spin great I believe racing drivers place a high priority on a, on a good driving position and comfort at the wheel. How does the turbo measure up to that? Yes, you're right, actually. Whether, whether you're in a racing car or a road car, you must be comfortable. And the turbo is, is very, very good for me. It fits me very, very well. I'm well positioned over the steering wheel and my feet are perfectly positioned on the pedals. And the best thing about this car is it's got the power when you need it. Well, that was a quick start, Steve. Yes, goes well, doesn't it? Oh, Gets all the way from the line like a, as one say, like a bat out of hill. <laughs> the secret of the Montego's power lies beneath the bonnet in a modified O-series engine and Garrett T3 turbocharger unit. Together, these develop 150 horsepower, increasing power output by nearly 50% over the standard carburetted unit and over 30% more than the standard MG fuel-injected model. The basic concept of turbocharging is relatively straightforward. Exhaust gases from the engine are used to drive the blades of a turbine, which in turn drives a second interconnected set of blades. These compress the incoming filtered air by pushing it through a separate chamber. From here, the hot compressed charge of air passes to a cooling unit to further increase its density, then onto the carburetor and engine. The result of this is a substantial increase in power, producing a torque of 169 foot-pounds at 3,500 RPM and performance that is normally only achieved with a larger and more costly engine. How is the gear shift on this car? Marvellous. Very quick, very precise and very, very light. In actual fact, you can tend to forget that you are in a road car. This particular car actually is, has a lot of characteristics like a racing car, certainly on a racetrack, down into the complex. Series of three corners, get the first one, got an apex there. They're all fairly slow, about 50, 60 mile an hour. Second left-hander. This is slow, Steve? Well, fairly. All this extra performance, does it mean much higher fuel consumption? 
No, not really. Obviously, if you're used to saloon cars such as Maestro's and cars like that, then sure, yes, it's slightly heavier. But if you compare the Montego Turbo to other cars of its same class and same performance, then I think the car streaks ahead. But I think the government figures are urban driving is 28.2 miles to the gallon and at a steady 56 miles an hour the car will actually achieve 43 miles to the gallon and at a steady 75 mile an hour the car will achieve 30 miles to the gallon. Well I'm sure the new owners will appreciate those figures. I'm sure they will. Then we've got to change direction to take a right hand corner. Now we're coming down into the fastest part of the circuit. The car will read, actually the car is reading 125 miles an hour. Down into the braking area, into the chicane. Hard on the brakes, down into fourth. Take that nice and gently. Around um, there. Pull through that. Oh. Circuit in a Montego Turbo. Fantastic. Are there any differences driving the Montego Turbo compared to an ordinary saloon car, Steve? Yes, there are. The Montego Turbo is a very powerful car and you should take some time to get the feel of it. I also think it would be a good idea for us to pull off the circuit now and, and test the car under normal conditions. Right. the road well. Yes, it's down to the very wide and low profile tyres on the uprated suspension yeah. and they give tremendous grip. Mm -hmm. The brakes, having to brake for this one slightly, uh, the brakes are servo assisted, ventilated disc at the front, the car feels good. I do like power assisted steering on cars and this particular one is, is uh, tremendous feedback it's very, very accurate and precise. Obviously, with a high-performance car of this type, you have to be very uh, smooth as you negotiate corners. I suppose with a, a powerful car like this with front-wheel drive, you get, a, you get a sense of that power coming through the steering, don't you? Yes, you're right, actually. Um, but the more you become accustomed to it and the more you drive the car, the less noticeable it is. Into the corner. Everything's fine. You have to be a little bit uh, careful on the way out because of the extra power the turbo gives you. Fifth gear, straight up this hill, no problem at all. The tremendous torque produced by the Montego turbo in its mid-range means that effortless performance is achieved without revving the engine hard. And because of this flexibility in the engine, the car pulls strongly in fifth from 30 to 100 miles per hour, whilst overtaking from 30 to 50 is quick and effortless, even in fourth gear. The sparkling performance of the Montego Turbo is matched by the many refinements you would expect of a luxury, high-performance car of its class. As I've said before on the racetrack, the clutch and the gearbox are beautifully light and it cars a pleasure actually to drive in traffic. The turbo performance of the car is, makes it very, very agile in city driving. Well, I've had a marvellous day, Steve. Thanks a lot. Uh, we tore around Thruxton this morning at high speed and then we had a more gentle afternoon cruising in the country. Here we are back in London and I feel as fresh now as I did when I woke up this morning. It's just got to be one of the most comfortable cars I've ever sat in. Good, I'm glad you've enjoyed yourself. Yeah, have a lovely time, thank you. The demonstration you've just seen has been made into a presentation video for your customers. 
make sure you're familiar with its contents, especially its key points. Before delivering the Montego Turbo to your customer, there are a number of actions that must be carried out. The car will be delivered with a full tank of petrol. It will also have a liquid wax polish and ensure the car has had a thorough PDI. Once the car is fully prepared, the final element of the customer care and courtesy package is for you to personally deliver the vehicle to the customer's home and demonstrate the handling characteristics of the car once more. The handover should be arranged at a time convenient to the customer. And it's important that any other member of the owner's family who will drive the car is also given a demonstration at this time. Lastly, ensure you have with the documentation a completed claim form which must be signed by the customer. And then it's time to deliver the Montego Turbo to its proud new owner.